Chipotle, Qdoba, Cafe Rio, and Costa Vida are some of the most popular build-your-own-meal Mexican restaurants out there. And it seems like people have some pretty strong takes about which one is best. Here in Utah, things can get so heated that you might think the two people are arguing about politics, when in fact they're actually arguing about which Tex-Mex food place is best. And it was just one of these arguments the other day that inspired me to make this video. I was at a pizza party, we were all making our pizzas, it was really fun, and somehow the topic got onto which one of these burrito places was best. One girl said that she would never pick Chipotle because it was just way too expensive. One guy said that Cafe Rio was just overhyped. Afterward, I kept wondering which one is actually best. Obviously, everybody has their own individual tastes, but each restaurant serves essentially the same dish, right? So it should be fairly simple to compare them based on their availability, price, selection, and quality of food. So that's what I set out to do. In this video, we'll start by comparing each company's size, and then we'll compare the prices of their foods, whether you want steak, chicken, or guac, we'll compare all the prices, and after that, we'll talk about the difference in selection and physical appearance at each restaurant. And finally, we'll conclude with a blind taste test where I feed a bunch of my friends the burritos and see if anyone can actually tell the difference. But before we jump in, if you like learning about the world of business, consider clicking that little subscribe button. It's 100% free, and you'll see that I put a ton of time and effort into making really high quality educational videos. And I think you'll really like them. And if you don't, you can always unsubscribe later, right? Now let's get into the background of these four companies. Chipotle is both the oldest and the largest of these four chains. It was founded in 1993 and now has 3,226 locations. Qdoba is the second oldest, being founded in 1995 and has 749 locations. Cafe Rio started in 1997 and has 160 locations, and Costa Vida is the youngest, being founded in 2003 with 90 locations. As you can tell, Chipotle is by far the biggest, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was the best. Chipotle greatly benefited from an investment from McDonald's in 2001 that helped them grow from 16 locations in 1998 to 500 in 2005. For the record, shortly after Chipotle's IPO in 2006, McDonald's divested so they no longer control Chipotle. Anyway, although they are much smaller, Cafe Rio, Costa Vida, and Qdoba have all been growing really quickly. For example, Cafe Rio has grown by 50% in the last five years alone. So they may not be as big as Chipotle yet, but they are definitely nipping on Chipotle's heels a bit. Now let's get into the price. My one friend said that she would never get Chipotle because it was by far the most expensive option. But believe it or not, when we compare them price to price, that isn't actually always the case. If you get a chicken burrito at Chipotle, it's $9. At Costa Vida, it's $9.49. Qdoba, it's $10.75, and at Cafe Rio, it's $11.69. For steak, the prices are a bit closer, but again, Chipotle is the cheapest at $10.75, Costa Vida is next at $11.49, then Qdoba at $11.95, and Cafe Rio is again the most expensive at $12.48. The last main protein choice people usually get at one of these restaurants is pork. And for pork, Cafe Rio is finally not the most expensive option. Costa is $9.49, Cafe Rio is $10.69, Chipotle is $10.75, and Qdoba is $11.25. So just based off the classic protein parts, Cafe Rio is the most expensive, with Costa Vida being the cheapest, and Chipotle being somewhere in between. Now, you might be yelling at the screen, but Kobe, what about the guac or the queso? What's the point in going to one of these restaurants if it's not for guac or queso? Well, guac at Qdoba is actually included, which is kind of crazy, because Costa charges a dollar for it, Cafe Rio charges $1.59 for it, and Chipotle charges a whopping $2.70 for a dollop of guacamole. But when you add the guac prices to the steak or chicken prices, it really doesn't change the pricing outcome that much. Chipotle does almost hit Cafe Rio's prices, but Costa and Qdoba are still significantly less expensive than the both of them. And although it only seems like a couple of dollars, when you put it in percentage terms, you can see how big of a difference there actually is. Chipotle steak and chicken with guac is 3% and 11% less than Cafe Rio, while Costa Vida and Qdoba are both nearly 20% less expensive. Another point on the pricing side that benefits Costa Vida and Qdoba as amazing value picks is that they both have enchilada style included, whereas Cafe Rio it costs an additional dollar and Chipotle doesn't even offer it. So if you get steak enchilada style with guac at Cafe Rio, you would be paying 34% and 28% more than if you had got the same thing at Qdoba or Costa Vida. This is a fairly substantial price difference if you eat out a lot. For example, if you and your significant other eat at Qdoba or Costa Vida once every single week instead of Cafe Rio, you would save almost $400 in a year by getting the exact same stuff. Many people would say that they're much more willing to pay the additional price if that means they have a better selection or better experience at the restaurant. So how do selection and experience compare with these four franchises? Well, they all have the basics of steak, chicken, barbacoa, or pork, 
but each one has a couple of unique options that the others don't have. Chipotle has a plant-based option if you're into that kind of a thing, Cafe Rio has a special pollo asado, and Costa has a bean and cheese option. Chipotle falls short in that it has no dessert options while Qdoba, Cafe Rio, and Costa Vida all have various desserts from tres leches to chocolate chip cookies. As far as selection goes, I think Qdoba, Cafe Rio, and Costa Vida are by far on the same level, with Chipotle falling a bit behind, mainly because of Chipotle's complete lack of desserts. As far as experience goes, you may be thinking that they're all about the same, but there are actually some unique differences that definitely change the vibe while you're in there. None of these restaurants' experiences are bad per se, they all have equal levels of staffing, and are all generally clean and nice places to be in. But Cafe Rio and Costa Vida really lean into this fun, bright colored Latin American street aesthetic inspired design style. To a certain extent, Qdoba does this as well, just not quite as much. These bright colors make Cafe Rio and Costa Vida really fun places to be. They just have fun colors and it really livens up the place when compared to Chipotle's ultra industrialist aesthetic. Along the same lines, Cafe Rio, Qdoba, and Costa Vida all have much more comfortable chairs than Chipotle does. Not saying they're Ames chairs or anything like that, but their chairs just seem to have a little bit more curvature in them for your butt, while at Chipotle you are literally sitting on a plywood board. Now this is just something to consider, it probably won't matter to you as you won't be sitting at a Chipotle for hours on end, but if you're on a date and you want to be able to chat for a while longer, this is maybe something to consider. One other consideration as far as experience goes is how friendly the staff is. Now, to buy the food for the taste test, I only went to one of each of these stores to pick up the food, so this is an extremely small sample size. But I do think that my experience here can give us a little bit of insight as to which chain is the friendliest. When I entered Costa Vida, I was welcomed in and the workers were really smiley and talkative, whereas the other restaurant, the level of friendliness was not nearly as high. In fact, I don't think anyone invited me in or even really talked to me. So I don't know if this really holds true across all restaurants or if those guys were just really nice, but it's something to consider. Now we're gonna get into the taste test. I went to Chipotle, Cafe Rio, and Costa Vida and ordered the exact same thing. The premium chicken option with white rice, no beans because I hate beans, and I didn't want people's votes being changed based off which kinds of beans I chose, and then everything else standard, so cheese, lettuce, whatever was standard, that's what they got. Also, there's no Qdoba on here because there aren't any Qdobas in all of Utah. Also, I did not order enchilada style as one, I was worried about people voting for the enchilada style because they thought it was Cafe Rio, Cafe Rio is extremely popular in Utah, and that's somehow affecting the blindness of the experiment. And B, it costs more at Cafe Rio, is free at Costa Vida, and is not offered at Chipotle. So it kind of messes up the experiment with additional variants. So let's see how my friends voted. Unlike the classic Coke experiments, it seemed like people could pretty well tell the difference between Chipotle and the others. I think this is because Chipotle's rice is quite distinct from Costa and Cafe Rio. The results of this little survey were quite interesting to me though because they did not seem to agree with the eye test that I saw at each store. When I was at Costa Vida, there was no line, and when I was at Chipotle, there was only one guy in front of me, and this is all about 5.30 to 6.30 o'clock. But when I went to Cafe Rio, they were packed, and I had to wait in line for at least 10 minutes. But my little taste test showed that people from all parts of the country preferred Chipotle by a pretty significant margin, with 63% of respondents putting Chipotle in first place. Although it seems like if Chipotle isn't your favorite, it's your least favorite because Chipotle didn't get any second place votes. And Cafe Rio and Costa Vida were pretty much tied with Costa Vida slightly edging out Cafe Rio. This similarity makes sense when you learn that Costa Vida was actually sued by Cafe Rio back in the early 2000s for stealing their recipes, layouts, and trade secrets among other things. The case was settled in 2007, but the terms of the settlement were never disclosed. Rumor has it though that Costa Vida was banned from using the term enchilada style, and is now forced to use the line, would you like that smothered? Which they definitely did offer to smother my burrito when I was getting my food, which now that I say that, that kind of sounds weird. Anyway, the point is, Cafe Rio and Costa Vida are extremely similar restaurants. So with the price data in, the store experience in, and the taste information all measured, we can make a decision on which wins the fast Mexican casual race. And I think there should actually be a couple of awards here. The first award is the Value Award, which goes to Costa Vida, or if there's no Costa Vida in your area, Qdoba. These two chains give you amazing bang for your buck, and essentially taste as good as the competition for 20% less. As far as the best taste goes, according to our little survey and the fact that they are by far the largest chain in the US, and therefore a decent number of people obviously like them, you've kinda gotta give it to Chipotle. Now, before you say my Cafe Rio hater, I'm not, they do get an honorable mention here. And that even though they don't win on value or on taste, they do have a really cool spinning tortilla cooker and cook the tortillas right there in front of you. So that's pretty cool because Chipotle only warms up their tortillas. But now I want to hear from you. 
Do you agree with my analysis or is there something I missed? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click subscribe and check out one of these other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.